the one question I had is you, you've, you've written extensively on uh, nationalism and on nationalism in, in, uh, in Croatia. And it, it seems like you know, the, the, the times have caught up with you in a way. Um, one, of the, one of the themes in your, in your work is how, how things don't change. So in Croatia and Bosnia and Serbia, these yeah. countries, you know, things, uh, uh, things changed in the 90s and ever since then we're stuck in a, in a, kind, of, a kind of time loop. They can't loop. change because, because they can't change because nationalism itself is the project which is so, you know, which is like a prison. There is no way out. Yeah. Ideologically, it is so stupid and so empty and so simple and so obsessive that there is nothing behind that, you know. Communism was far more open project mm -hmm. because you could change it, you could, you could discuss it, you could do this or that. I mean, each of communist countries, they, they had their own, so in spite of the same ideology, but they had their own communist story. But um, nationalism is something like a tooth pain, you know. You're just whining and whining and whining, and this is it and mm -hmm. it. And it. Yeah, but you, you know, you speak uh, from uh, from your own experience and and, and from from Croatia, uh, but uh, it seems like you know the the rest of the world used to think that nationalism was gone, was a problem of the past almost, and now we're faced with this situation. No, it is blooming. It is I now. Understand. It is. Yeah. I think that my belief into humanity and to human creature is such strong that I'm always a sucker. So, so again, with, with Trump, I was 100% sure that he won't win. Mm. Because, especially because I, I, I was watching those Alex Baldwin <laughs> uh, parodies yeah. of, of I, I simply could not believe. But I was, I was wrong. I should simply think about the knowledge I already have and um, and um, and remember that knowledge. Why it is? Why nationalism? Why populism? It is so sweet. Why it is so sweet? When Yugoslavia fell apart and when nationalists won on all the sides, there was a, such a. I could feel that a relief among people. Because, now I know that, communism was demanding system mm -hmm. with all that ideology, you know, that you have to go to school. You have to educate yourself. I mean, free education, girls to the school. I mean, it was, it was yes, it was liberating. Yes, it was emancipatory uh, because uh, I mean, you could succeed, uh, succeed only because if you were smart, if you were educated and educated and educated, knowledge was like a god. It was the holy thing. Okay. So uh, you're saying you're saying uh, socialism was a pain, and so nationalism was, was, is a kind of relaxation. Yeah, it was it was demanding, and then self-management. God, people have to, uh, I mean, learn that self-management. They have to, you know, they had tools democratic tools how to how to manage their factories their firms their uh, whatever so all of that was demanding when nationalism came you had to love serbs and slovenes and macedonians you had to learn all those languages you had to travel this and that all was demanding suddenly yeah. nationalism came and you were respected yeah. for one thing only being a right blood type <laughs> those possibilities which you can get with nationalism it is all it's not about only about attraction it's about power it's about possibility of money uh, it's about a huge possibility of change i will tell you a story nobody believes me but the story is truth my uh, publisher, uh, August Tesaretz, in Zagreb, he was the main editor. He became, thanks to HDZ and his participation in uh, political, uh, he became a, um, 
a chef of police, Croatian police. So probably, I mean, these are, you can't be that anywhere in the world except in those special situations, constellations. You have people who became uh, something, somebody, only thanks to this, this constellation, where uh, people were awarded for loyalty. People became millionaires just for a little moment of loyalty towards nation, Tujman, uh, people in power, and so on and so forth. This is attractive. We live in unbelievably <laughs> dangerous times. I mean, there is no arbitrage. We don't want arbitrage. Who is going to tell me what movie I'm going to like? Mm. Okay? At the end, we don't count. In fact, we all like one movie. Okay. You see, Dubravka, the Samy Sham at our last conference made the same analysis. He said what, what, what yeah. basically went wrong is that the values of the Enlightenment were killed by amusement, by the yeah. commercial culture. Right. Yes. Well, but this is what we call democracy. People are free, you know, to choose what they want. Yeah. And they have a strong preference of, you know, commercial culture or amusement above yeah. the values of the Enlightenment. So, you know, and this is this is democracy. This is not yes. communism. This is not, you know, a, a small group who is yeah. imposing uh, X, Y, Z. Yeah. And uh, um, so, you know, let's be happy with it. Because we still live in a democracy. Yeah, I think we should be happy. So then I don't have anything okay, against it. But how we then to relate it to your statement, you know, that we live in dangerous times? Dangerous times? Yes, dangerous times because of illiteracy. You, go, you, you think that you, you are choosing. In fact, you do not choose. You are chosen. This is what, what, what is, for me, uh, such a discovery when people... It was never like that, that people would agree. It was never like that before. And that appeared with this new time of consensus. It was never that people would agree that one writer, let's say, goes globally and this is the best genius that we can get. Everybody agrees. Uh, writers, fellow writers, critics, good critics, uh, uh, audience which didn't read any book but that one, and so on and so forth. You know, These are those who who is choosing that? Why suddenly everybody agrees that Elena Ferrante is genius? I'm not going to, to put a footnote, but say now, I think too that she is great. Because I don't want to do that for the sake of, of this. Why is that so? Ten years ago, it, did, it could not happen. Yes, there were bestsellers, but it was not such a total agreement in between formerly high writers or thinkers or whatever and, and, and low or sub-literary and so on. What about the current situation in Croatia? Because you described uh, that when you were young, you were definitely aware of what was good and what was evil. And then with this purification of the library, of the books, of the history, and with this change uh, of the perspectives, how is the current situation right now? How kids are over there aware of the situation of the past history and how do they look on it? I was observing through 25 years how those ideas uh, a concept, a system, how they penetrated into all the levels of, of life. They penetrated into school books, into kindergartens, into school books, into high school books, into universities. They penetrated into hospitals, into media, the radio, newspapers, uh, into people. Uh, the, the biggest uh, promoter of 
nationalism in Croatia was Catholic Church. From hardly maybe 5%, just old ladies before they went to church, uh, in Croatia, according to the, some statistics, there is 87% uh, of declared Catholic, uh, Catholics. So church is everywhere, and church is promoting and implanting, realizing all those, uh, all those ideas. 